Welcome to LA Tips. My name is Alex Hughes, and today we're going to go through the process of creating your own 3D model library in L8. So let's begin. So we've got a selection of models sort of loaded in here that have come out of SketchUp. We're not going to cover uh, exporting out of SketchUp today, but I wanted to give you an idea of the sort of models that I've personally got in my library and also how they look. So if we go into Room for a sec, we see if I go into Browse 3D Model, we see that I've got a folder called Stages, which doesn't have proper images, and then I've also got one called Audio. And if I drop into a new file for a sec, let's go uh, LA Tips. And I go into Room, click on an empty spot, and then go into Audio. I can bring in a uh, very tall 9 meter uh, line array that's ready to go. So this saves obviously a lot of time and as we can see it comes in as one object. Now the process of getting this to work uh, isn't convoluted but it does take a little bit more finesse than uh, some people may be used to. So if we come out for a second and let's just build a stage out of stage decks. Nice and simple. Uh, I will just make sure that the world center is the floor and then we'll set it so that it's on the floor. We're going to build a really simple stage using uh, tools that we've gone over in previous videos before. But the aim of this video is to basically show you how easy it is to take one object, especially if an, an L8 system object like this and turn it into one large object. So if I duplicate quickly here, we've, we've got a nicely sized stage. So rather than having to build a stage every time, all I can do is I can simply just go to export 3D on model and we're going to call this uh, medium stage and it's going to export it and it exports it to furniture slash medium stage. So if we go into Browse 3D Model and we go into the slash, which is the root directory, down the bottom we're going to see, here it is, medium stage. Now that's good, but you know I, I don't want to have to search through here. I want to be able to categorize things like all the categories that we've got here. The process is actually quite simple. So once we've got the object exported, if we open up our file browser for a sec and find ourselves in the L8 folder, if we go and find the furniture folder, we'll see that right up the top we've got medium stage 3DL and medium stage JPEG, which are the ones that were just created. As long as we grab those files and make sure that there are no folders for that that would contain uh, materials and stuff, all we have to do is then just copy them into a folder. So I've created a folder called underscore stages but for this demo, let's create a new one. So let's just call it underscore stage assets. And we'll drop it in there. Uh, of course, it helps if I actually run the cut command. And if we drop it in here, nice and simple, we'll come back into L8. And now if we load up and go browse 3D model, Number one, we'll see that we've got a folder called Stage Assets, and we can see that we can bring our medium stage in. And when we bring our medium stage in, rather than taking up eight different objects, it's now just one big object that we can manipulate. So number one, this saves on you know the limited amount of slots that we've got to put 3D objects. And also from a rendering perspective, now if we put a light source on it, it doesn't have to recalculate for 16 or eight different objects. It only has to calculate the materials for one object. So this is a really rapid way of uh, saving frame rate, especially. So this is, uh, you know, quite simple. And then all you're doing is just bringing in your own models. So I, as I said before, I have a couple that I had brought in from Vectorworks. And when you bring something in from Vectorworks, by going to Explorer and bringing it up like so, uh, not on stream, but going through the, the Explorer process, you can bring them in, but even if they're in your Browse 3D model, you're not going to be able to see them here unless you give them an image. 
So if we drop it back into Explorer for a sec, this little medium stage.jpg, if we were to, uh, let's say, rename this for a sec to just for medium JPEG, when we come back into L8 and we go back into selecting a file, we'll see that it can't bring it in because it can't find something called for medium stage. If we were to delete the image totally, so rather than rename it, if we were to delete the image totally, so let's, uh, let's just delete it for a sec and jump back into L8. If we go back into stage assets, we can see that there's nothing there. Now we could browse and find it using Explorer, but we need to have this JPEG image. The moment we've got that JPEG image in place, we can drop out and come back in and we can see it there. So any assets that you wanna deal with that you've exported out of any other applications, make sure that you've got a JPEG image generated. It doesn't have to be a big image. If we look at the one that we've got here, we can see that it's, you know, 48 kilobytes and the resolution is 609 by 609. So if I go back and we look at one of my stage folders, we can see that uh, if I go into preview with large icons, we can see that one that I've brought in, I've just dropped a logo over. While it's not an accurate preview of what the file looks like, at least it allows us to bring it in and manage it within the file structure of 3D objects. And that's the simple process. We've dealt with bringing files in from Vectorworks, but if you wanna just create your own symbols and do it like this, this is a really efficient and fast way of doing things. Nice quick video for you guys today. Hopefully it's been helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to the L8 Facebook group, the L8 support group on uh, or the forum, or you can email your L8 distributor. And if you're based in Australia or New Zealand, that's me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day.